Good morning, I'm Earth Doctor Reese Halter, and you're listening to EarthCastSOS.com. Heat waves are very frightening. And as we continue to burn in excess of 96 million metric tons of fossil fuels daily on our planet, expect more of them. Lots. A couple of weeks ago, India was blanketed by a mother of heat. It was so hot in New Delhi, roads melted. Roads melted! At least 2,500 people died and more than 17 million chickens perished. At the same time India was cooking, the Arctic was sweltering too. On May 23rd, Eagle, Alaska was 91 degrees. Earlier this week, the G7 meeting in Germany concluded that fossil fuels would be phased out in 85 years. 85 years? Clearly, they're out of their fracking minds. Stringent measures to reduce burning, heat-trapping, disease-causing fossil fuels are required immediately. Let me remind you that in the past 50 years, the oceans have tripled in mercury poisoning from burning coal. Let me also remind you that last year, Australian scientists achieved supercritical steam from the sun, a milestone analogous to breaking the speed of sound. It's a game changer. It means that we can now derive energy from the sun on par with the coal-fired power plants. So now we can reallocate some of the $5.6 trillion globally in subsidies to coal, oil, gas, and fracking that the International Monetary Fund revealed to the world a couple of weeks ago into solar energies. Future-proofing our towns and cities is the only way forward to survive what's ahead. It's heartbreaking to see the ribs protruding from starving polar bears. It's equally frightening to see them eating white-beaked dolphins trapped in the Arctic ice. Skinny bears are ravenous. We've never seen polar bears eating dolphins before. The climate crisis has disrupted ocean currents, and all sea life are experiencing temperature and oxygen-related stresses. I've spent the past 30 years of my life studying Earth's wild systems on land and under the sea. Nature is clearly showing us that rising temperatures from burning, heat-trapping fossil fuels are lethal to all life. It's now a matter of survival. Pick up your pens. Pick up your pens. And write, not email, a letter to your elected officials. Tell them to stop subsidizing fossil fuels and start future-proofing your town or city now. Just do it. Please support the okraproject.org because they're making Earthcast SOS possible. I'm Earth Doctor Reese Halter, reminding you to protect our planet.